This is Star World, and we're gonna attempt to blow it up because we're playing Solar Smash, and that's what we do. We blow stuff up. Hello, everybody. I'm Kylie Kid, and welcome back to Solar Smash. We got a beefy new update. I don't know why I described it as beefy, but now I want a hamburger. Either way, there are new planets, there are new weapons, there are new Easter eggs. There's new stuff. First of all, weapons. Where are the new weapons? What? Is that a harpoon? I think that might be a harpoon. I'm gonna harpoon my house. Ah! As if getting hit by a harpoon isn't enough, then you blow it up! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's, uh... Well, that's- that's pretty much one entire half of the Earth destroyed from one harpoon! What happens if you add a whole bunch of harpoons? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. This is- this is not good for Earth. Okay, can I detonate- if I press the detonate button, does it detonate them all at the same time? Yeah! Yeah, it does! That is really cool! And- very destructive. Not, not a lot of population left here on Earth. In fact, um, I'd say zero. But now what is this thing? This is like a satellite orbital cannon. You know I'm gonna launch it at myself. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Oh, you're shooting miss. Okay. Sure. Orbital cluster missiles. Uh, you're still going. You, are you done? No, still not done. How about now? Five flurries? Six? Six. Could you imagine how destructive that would be if we did like 10 of those around the planet? Well, I have good news. You don't have to imagine because we can actually just do it. Now it is time for the orbital invasion of our lovely planet. I don't know how many I've placed. I think that was 10. Let's just uh, zoom out and uh, embrace the chaos that is watching our planet get destroyed by orbital carpet bombs. It's beautiful in its own unique way, in its own destructive way. Solar Smash never disappoints. Man, that is so cool looking. It's like a silhouette. It's pretty sweet. That's a really cool shot. Is that it for new weapons? I think that's it for new weapons. But now we also have new planets. Oh my gosh. Okay, green world, it's Halo. That's awesome. What happens if you cut it in half? Do the two halves like split apart? We've, I mean, we've gotta try. I'm gonna use a lightsaber. I've chopped part of the ring off. I've chopped the other half of the ring. It's still maintaining its uh, its shape. I guess gravity is, is helping it out there. But what if like I hit like one of these detached sections with like a harpoon, for instance? Okay, it's landed. Is it moving? It's still not moving, but if I blow it up... Man, those things are locked down pretty good. I'm impressed. What if I hit you with the fist of a giant plasma alien? You ever think about that? Okay. You survived that as well. I mean, survived is a questionable word to use there. But what I was hoping is that like the pieces that I've detached from each other start like separating. No, they're they're locked in. Good for them. How about space locusts? What do you think of that, Halo? Dun 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 No? Okay. And then we've got this monstrosity. Star World. Star World? Yo, this thing is awesome looking. 13 billion people living on this thing. Let's blow it up with the power of space worms. Space worms? Anybody? They're so gross, but I love them. Eat up, space worms. Space worms will eat anything. Even a world entirely made of metal. They love it. Hey, take your time, guys. They're really taking their time. This planet, like, for scale, this thing must be absolutely massive because if you look at the size of the space worms compared to the actual planet itself they're much smaller than they typically are also it's taken very long for them to get to the planet which tells me that this planet 
would be quite the sight to see in real life. I mean, it's already pretty cool in the video game, but imagine a real life Star World, pretty awesome. Also, Star World is gonna look like Swiss cheese in a few seconds. <laughs> Here, let's speed up time. Uh, th all the space worms are like congregating in the center, which is really weird. I guess they're kind of drawn to like the, the, center, uh, the center mass of any kind of planet, like the gravitational pull or something. I don't know, maybe there's some scientific reasoning behind what they're doing, but either way, um, Star World ain't looking so good anymore. It's very cool though. So I've restored Star World, but now you can see in the center, I'm pretty sure that thing right there, that's a force field generator. That's what's in the middle of Machine World. So Star World actually has some serious defense. It didn't have it before, which is interesting. Also, you can kind of see like that. I don't know if that's an intended effect, but like see the textures kind of like squiggling around like that? That might be a result of the shield generator. How strong is this shield? I'm interested to find out. Let's send the... Wait, what just happened? Oh, I think I spawned too many on top of each other. They just kind of blew each other up. Oops. Okay, there they go. I'm speeding up time because it takes a long time to get these things to the actual planet. So. These guys absolutely decimated Earth. And from what I can see... Okay, they got through. They got through the force field, but man, that took a lot. And there's still 12 billion people happily living on Star World. The other 1 billion, not so happy. Let's try the harpoon. I want to see what kind of damage this thing does. How strong is this force field? Dang. It, it's... They're not even getting close. Wait, we can still detonate our bombs. I thought they would have blown up on the force field. No, they're still there. Look at them. <laughs> they're embedded in the force field. Let's see. It still held up. That's crazy. So I think it's safe to say that Star World's force field is stronger than Machine World's. Maybe Machine World was just like the beta test. Let's try the lightsaber. Okay, the lightsaber, I mean, obviously, eventually it's gonna get through. It's, the lightsaber is so overpowered. And then you can destroy the actual uh, shield generator and then Star World doesn't quite stand a chance. But who has a giant lightsaber to just swing at planets besides me and everybody else who plays Solar Smash? Not that many people. What about the gauze cannon? Barely. I mean, we've got to, like, spam the heck out of this thing. And keep in mind, the gauze cannon, super, super concentrated, can blast a hole through any planet instantly. I had to shoot, like, 20 to get through the force field of Star World. That's crazy. I'm going max level laser beam. Let's see how long it takes to punch through. All right, let's go. <gasps> Actually, I mean, <laughs> the laser cannon is so powerful. That was definitely longer than it takes to get through the uh, the shield on Machine World, but still got through it pretty fast. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think that there was some um, there was some damage already from the previous attack that we did on Star World. So it actually took longer. Watch, once the shield regenerates, we'll try again. I'll show you guys. Okay, shield is back. Let's see. That was like five solid seconds of holding the laser down. That's crazy. Star World doesn't mess around. I'm going to destroy the uh, the shield generator of Star World. Come on. Get... Oh, oh there. Okay. It almost came back. And then I want to try this thing. Now, historically, this weapon... It's like the planet destroyer. It doesn't work on planets that aren't round. So I don't know what will happen, but let's find out. Testing crazy stuff. Yeah, just blasted a hole straight through Star World. Oops. How about Star World versus moons? Oh my gosh. It's just, it's absurd. It's truly absurd. That's a lot of moons hurtling straight towards Star World. They didn't really think that one through. They're like, hey, wait, let's build this artificial planet. Wait, our artificial planet is 
slowly drifting into a moon field? Who knew there was just a giant asteroid field that is actually just moons floating around? We really messed that one up. But now, as you can see, there is some secret worlds. Now, I will admit, I think two of these question marks are worlds that we've already seen before. I forget exactly which ones, but I lost all my data because I switched over to a new tablet. But the last one is indeed a new planet that I have not seen before, but it's not actually a planet. From what I understand, I need to use Mars, and then I select the UFO, and then I send the UFOs into the sun to destroy the sun using the power of UFOs. Attacked the sun with aliens. Invoked a supernova, which we've already done in the past, but again, all these achievements are because I had to uh, switch over to a new tablet. Let's see. I think it worked. I see the glow. Look at this. We can now planet smash the sun. That's awesome. So, sun versus black hole. That seems like a really bad day for our solar system. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. They're eating our sun. Wait, the sun's too powerful. It's growing. It's growing back. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, it is shrinking. I will admit the sun is not quite as impressive as it was before, uh, but it does regenerate. It's almost like the gas planets. What happens if I shoot the uh, moon? Oh my gosh, that makes me very happy. Instead of it being the moon, it's actually Earth that gets launched into the sun. And now I am forcing the sun to eat Earth. It's just, just swallowing all of the Earth's entirely whole. It's just filling back in. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Once they all converge and start colliding with the sun. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is so cool. Some of the Earth's, although not entirely intact anymore, uh, did actually make it out of the sun. And I think we're actually going to turn the sun into, like, a supernova. If we keep going, will the sun just disappear or will it actually explode? Because right now it's a it's a red dwarf, right? Like we've reduced its size to that point. Let's use some uh, space lightning to continue destroying our sun. Something that, you know, probably we don't want to actually happen. But in Solar Smash, it's fun. Okay, it's it's continuing to to shrink down. Oh! Yep, okay. Yep, we uh, we created a supernova, and, um, well, now <laughs> we have no sun. My bad. Here's what I'm going to do. We have a full-sized sun. I paused time, and now I'm going to do a full onslaught from every direction of just Earth colliding with the sun. <laughs> Earth versus sun. Who will win? Nobody. Let's be honest. Nobody wins in this battle. All right, how many Earths have I spawned? Not as many as I would like, to be honest with you. Let's unpause time and continue spawning Earths just so that we have like a multi-phase collision of all the Earths with Sun. Oh, here we go, here we go, it's happening. Here, I'm gonna turn off the HUD so we can get just a absolutely beautiful shot the way they just get consumed by the sun, never to be seen again. Oh my goodness, this is insane. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's safe to say that if you launched a small army of Earths at the sun, the sun would win. It would never be the same again, but it would win. And now we know. <laughs> now I have to test this though. Can we cut the sun in half? We've done it to pretty much every other planet. Now this is gonna be tricky though, because the sun, like the gas planets, it kind of like self heals as you damage it. But I feel like if we can cut quickly enough, we can sever the two sides. I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle. Let's see. Go, 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 go. You gotta go faster. 
It's- it's- it's healing! It's like the Wolverine of planets! No! No! No, I gotta chop you in half! Come on! It's not working. I can't- I can't cut through it fast enough! Come on! I need more lasers! This is full power laser, too. It's- it's not enough. It's not quite enough. Okay, there's other options, though. Let's try the gauze. Will it just punch a hole straight through the sun? It did. Okay, what if you just do that all the way? I think, I think we did it. We did it. We did it. That is two severed pieces of the sun. You can't really see it because it's so bright. Let's see. I'll stop. No, it filled in again. But for a moment, we had the sun cut in half. That was awesome. I'm going to try the lightsaber. Do it. Don't let me down, lightsaber. Don't let me down. You got this. You got this. The sun is so big, though. It's so hard to keep up. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on. Get there. I can't tell. I can't tell if we've gotten through. I'm, I'm cutting. Its regeneration powers are too strong. Come on. The gauze cannon worked. The lightsaber, not so much. Maybe if I cut this way. Horizontal. Horizontal cuts. Come on, man. Stop regenerating, son. Just... Just give up. It's gonna supernova! No! Oh! It's regenerating way too fast! Chill. Sun. Come on. Just... Just calm down. It's gonna blow up. It's, it's about to go supernova. It's gonna happen. There's no going back now. I'm trying. I'm trying. Is it... Yeah, kinda! For a moment, we cut through the sun, but the gauze cannon worked, 100%. But now that I've fed the earth to the sun, can I feed the sun to the earth? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create earth. I'm gonna make its mass way bigger. And then I'm gonna make the sun the same size as the earth. And they will do battle. Also, this is taking way longer than I expected. One hour later. Okay, this number goes up way too high. I'm gonna go a million, a billion, a gajillion. Okay, 10,000. Fair enough. A gajillion again. Done. There you go. Okay, that's a big earth. <laughs> okay, we now have somewhat equally sized earth versus sun. I'm going to set them on a collision trajectory with each other. Just slowly heading towards each other. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Earth versus the sun. The final showdown. The earth is getting a little hot. Things are getting a little heated. I gotta... Okay, wait. There we go. I, I wanted to make sure that they were colliding, kind of going the same direction. Here, here it is. Oh! I... I, I don't think Earth survived. Earth, you in there, bud? Good? I think I'm knocking on the door. Are you okay? Do you need any help? Do I need to call an ambulance? I don't think there is like an intergalactic space ambulance for saving blown up planets, unfortunately. Hey, but now we know. 